Hello there my YouTube family and welcome back to my channel. Boy, do I have a fabulous and intense Pilates fusion workout for you today. For circuit number one, we are going to ease into it and kind of warm up the body as we go. And we'll do 18 different exercises for one full minute. That's right. And then we'll have our usual 20 second rest in between each exercise where I will demonstrate the following one so you won't miss a thing. After circuit one is complete, I'm going to give you a little break to just breathe, stretch, hydrate, do whatever you gotta do. And then we're going to come back for circuit number two. We'll do those 18 exercises again, but we're only going to do them for 45 seconds with no rests in between. That's right. So it's going to be so much fun. It's going to be intense. It's a full body workout, but the best part is we are only using our own body weight. You don't need any equipment, just your yoga mat. So when you're ready, come on down and let's get started. All right, exercise one and two are sort of going to serve as our warm up just to get going. So let's start in our high plank pose. And from here, we are just going to shift it back into our downward facing dog. Really try to get those heels down, and then we'll lift the heels up, lower them back down, shift forward back into your high plank, and then we lower the hips down to lift up into our upward facing dog. From here, reset yourself in your high plank, and then we go for it again. So we shift back, heel lift in your down dog, Shift forward and then adjust to your up dog and then back to that high plank, okay? And as always, my beautiful friends, remember you set your own speed. Obviously, I want you to push yourself and go as quickly as you can, but form is the most important thing. So if you feel yourself getting a little sloppy, slow down your pace and just really be mindful how you're moving. We wanna get the most out of our workout. So in order to do that, we have to make sure we're moving correctly. All right, here we go. Timer is set. You have one full minute. Breathe, smile, and start it up, everybody. High plank. Make sure you're really activating your core right off the bat. Belly button is always pulling in and up. Good work, everybody. We're about halfway there, 30 seconds left. Breathing deep. Nice work, everybody. Take your 20 second rest. Here's exercise number two. We're starting in that high plank again. You're going to take a big step forward with the right foot, reach up with the right, and then we circle the arm around. Hand goes down, foot goes back, and then we go to the second side. Go for it, everybody. Big monster step forward. We're really dropping that hip down, stretching out the hip flexor. Big circle around with the arm, and step back. Make sure you take a moment in that high plank to really reset yourself and be sure that booty is down, no cheating. Enjoy that nice twist of the spine when you reach up. Ten seconds. Keep going, keep breathing. Nice 
Nice work, everybody. All right, let's get on the booties. Exercise three, squeeze those legs together, lace up your fingers. We're in our half roll back. We're going to twist four times and then go into a beautiful boat crunch. Go for it, everybody. Belly is scooped, tailbone is tucked. You shouldn't have any lower back pain here if you're using your core correctly. Good, exhale on those twists. Knees come in, we're using our arms and our core for that boat crunch. Keep squeezing the legs together. Shoulders down. Good, we're halfway there, 30 seconds. Ten seconds, keep going, stay strong. Nice job, everybody. Take your 20 second rest. We are going to lift up into our reverse tabletop, really engaging in the back of the body. We do opposite hand to foot on both sides and then lower the pelvis down with control. Here we go, legs and feet hip width apart, squeeze and lift, hips should be level. Opposite hand to foot and lower with control. Squeeze and lift. Good, more than halfway there, 20 seconds. Nice work. All right, from here, squeeze those legs together. Find your half roll back position once again. Belly scoop, tail tucked. Let's do our seated single leg stretches, grabbing onto the shins. If you need the support, put your hands on the floor. And start it up. All right, relax the shoulders here. No tension in the neck and really strive to stretch out that leg as long as you can. Looking good, everybody. Stay strong. Keep that center really engaged. Good, more than halfway there. 20 seconds left. Keep going. Think happy thoughts. Nice. All right. Let's come down on the backs. I want you to place your hands underneath your pelvis. We are going to lengthen up the legs, find your external rotation, lower to flutter, and then we split the legs apart two times. And go for it, everyone. We're staying up in that nice high crunch. Make sure your lower back is pressing into the floor. Don't let your back arch. That's really important. If you're getting tired, of course you can keep your head down if you need to, but try to stay up in that nice high crunch. We really wanna work that core, and of course we're also working and sculpting the legs here. Flutter, flutter, flutter. 
Good, 20 seconds. Long legs, everybody. Keep them long, keep them turned out. Good job. Oh, all right, take a little breather. Come into your home base, rock the knees. Up next, lacing up the fingers behind the head. We're gonna start in a cute little ball with the elbows attached to the knees. When you extend the right, you open the right arm and twist to the right. And go for it, everybody. We're just gonna keep alternating sides. This is a little crisscross variation. And again, pressing that lower back into the mat. My core is literally on fire right now. But we're gonna keep going and we're gonna stay strong. Twenty seconds. You can do it. Good work, all right. Ah, moving on to our shoulder bridge series. Head is down for this one, yay. Arms by your sides, tuck your tailbone under, lifting up into your shoulder bridge. When you lower your pelvis down, I want you to arc your arms back, right next to those ears, and go for it. We're just lifting up, the arms arc forward, rolling down to arc the arms back. Really pressing into the floor with the feet, engaging in those glutes and hamstrings. Nice job, everybody. Stay up in your shoulder bridge, and I want you to lift the heels up so you're just on the balls of the feet. Do a little check, make sure your hips are lifted and level. You can keep your arms down, or if you're feeling good, reach your fingertips up to the sky, and we're just going to do tiny pulses here. Go for it, everybody. Really, really squeezing the glutes, engaging in the hamstrings at the top of each lift. It's not a big range of motion, but if you're doing it correctly, whoo, are you gonna feel the burn? Good, take some nice deep breaths. Good job, everybody, keep going. Buns of steel. Good, all right, come down if you need a little break. If not, stay up in your shoulder bridge. I want you to flip your palms to face in. We're joining the palm and the knees, and then we open the arms and the legs out to the side. So we're staying up. We just close and open. Close and open, go for it. Try not to drop your pelvis down. We want to stay up nice and high in that shoulder ridge. And when you close in, really squeeze your knees in towards one another. Good 
work. If you're struggling to balance, of course you can keep your arms on the floor for support. That's a-okay, nothing wrong with that. Always modify if you need to. Woo, I am really feeling the burn here. Inner thighs, outer thighs, glutes, hamstrings, everything's working. Keep going, keep going. Finally, you can lower down and let's roll onto our side. We are going to go into our tilted clams. So we open and then let's add in a beautiful extension because why not? Join the feet and then lower back down. So as you can see, I have both hands behind my head. If you're struggling to balance, you can always just take this hand on the floor for support. Lifting up out of the floor. Tummy muscles, of course, are engaged. Looking good. Keep going, friends. Did it, good work. Give that glute a little pat if you need to. Let's sit up, swing around, and we'll do the same thing on our second side. Lifting up out of the floor. Tilt those legs. Yet, friends, you can always choose your foot position. Of course, the ballerina in me always likes to point my feet, but if you don't like that or if you get cramps, you can always flex your feet, just glue your heels together, and then extend, heels join, and then lower down, yeah? You decide whatever best version is for you. Nice work, pat it out. Let's keep going friends, stick with me. Let's go into our tabletop position. We're just gonna work the right leg. We are going to hydrant pulse, one, two, three, four, and then come down onto your left forearm to extend and then just reset yourself. Here we go friends. Four hydrant pulses with the right leg Lower to your left forearm to extend, and then reset yourself in your tabletop. Woo! 30 seconds, you're halfway there. My glutes are on fire. Nice job, everybody. All right, pat it out. Of course, we have to even it out. Let's do the same thing on the second side. So now we're working that left leg. You're going to lower down onto your right forearm when you extend the leg out.
tummy muscles working, go for it. Pulsing up four times, onto the right forearm to extend, reset back to that tabletop. Good, more than halfway there, 20 seconds. Stay strong, everybody. Think about your form, think about how you're moving. We have to make each movement count. Nice, woo, all right. Pat out those glutes. Let's go into our hovering tabletop next. So we're tucking the toes under. We're touching opposite hand to thigh on both sides. And then same knee to elbow on both sides. And go for it. Hand to thigh, hand to opposite thigh. Right knee to right elbow, left knee to left elbow. Try to stay in the center as much as you can. We don't want any shifting or twisting. Such a good one for the core, but we're also working the other muscle groups as well. 30 seconds. our high plank next. We're going to shoulder tap twice. Again, opposite hand to shoulder and then step the feet wide and then do it again right here. Go for it, friends. So two shoulder taps with the legs hip width apart and then two shoulder taps with the legs nice and wide. with me we got two more forearm plank let's go into a double hamstring curl here so we lower the knees bring your heels to your bottom tuck the toes under and lift and then we'll tiptoe to our pike take a deep breath in your pike and then tiptoe down go for it everybody double hamstring curl tiptoe to your pike tailbone to the sky enjoy this Woo, and tiptoe back out.
Nice work, everybody. All right, we have one more. Finish strong. I know you can do it. High plank. You're gonna bring your right knee in towards your chest. We lift up two times on the third one. Send your leg back, three-legged dog, and then reset in your high plank. Keep alternating sides, go for it. Knee in, lift up one, two, the third time. Send your leg up and back. And then lower it back to your high plank. Enjoy that three-legged dog or ballet penché. Breathe deep. Twenty seconds. Ah, oh, and you did it. My goodness. So sweaty. We're glistening. We're feeling good. We're feeling amazing. Take a little break. I'll meet you right back here. Hey there friends, while you're stretching, resting, hydrating, I just wanted to take this opportunity to give a quick shout out to my new on-demand platform. It's my baby. I put so much love, effort, and energy into every single video, and all the videos are exclusive to my new on-demand platform. They are all brand spanking new. So I really, really hope you will check it out. The link is in the description box down below, as always. And right now I am running a very special limited time offer. This is such a bargain and I really, really hope all of you will check it out. You basically get four weeks of Pilates classes for just $20. Some days you'll do one longer workout, other days you'll do two shorter workouts. That's a lot of Pilates classes for just $20. So I really, really hope you'll go check it out. It would mean the absolute world to me and I'm sending all of you so much love oh, and I'll hopefully see you over there. Okay my lovelies, guess what? We're doing it all once again, 45 seconds on, no rests in between. I know you can do it, let's finish this workout strong. Here we go, back to exercise number one. So friendly reminder, we're starting in our high plank pose. Shifting back to the downward facing dog, do your heel lift, lower down, shift forward, and then adjusting to your upward facing dog, and then don't forget to reset in a nice strong high plank. All right, everybody, here we go, one after the other, let's do it, and we are off. Go for it. Nice work, stay in your high plank. Here's your big monster step forward. We're twisting to reach up, circle the arm, and then we go the other side. Big step. After this, we're gonna flip over and go into those Russian twists with our boat. Crunch. So be ready to flip over. 10 seconds. Good. Flip it over, everybody. Woo! Squeeze those legs. Here we go. Twisting it out. Four times. Knees come in. 
boat crunch, use your core, use your arms, use your back. Good. 20 seconds. After this, we have our reverse tabletop lift, and then we touch opposite hand to foot. Good, open the feet, hip width apart. Lift it on up, squeeze those glutes. Hand to foot, hand to foot, lower with control. Good, shoulders down, don't let them creep up. Take a peek at those hips. Really try to keep them as level as possible, especially when we do the hand to foot. I know this is tricky. Good work, seated single leg stretches. Go for it, everybody. Remember, if you're struggling to balance, just put your fingertips or hands on the floor. Otherwise, hands go on the shin. Bring that knee in as close and as compact as possible. Good, belly scoop, tail tucked. You shouldn't have any lower back pain here. If you do, you're not engaging in your core. 10 seconds. Woo! And then we'll go into our flutters and scissors. Good work, everybody. Onto the backs. Crunch up high, hands under your bottom. Legs out, flutter, flutter. Scissor one, scissor two. Legs are long and turned out. So we're activating those inner thighs. Woo! Don't arch the back. Press your lower back into the mat. Super important. Ten seconds. Go, go, go. Oh, nice job, everybody. Come into your cute little ball. We open and twist to the right as you extend the right, and then open and twist to the left as you extend the left leg. Nice. Breathing deep, everybody. Again, if you feel like your form is starting to get sloppy, sloppy, then just slow down your pace. Seven seconds. Nice, all right. Shoulder bridge. Lift it on up, everybody. Make sure that back isn't arched. Think of tucking your tail under. Lower down to arc the arms back, and then arc the arms forward to lift up. Good work, friends. Stay up in your shoulder bridge. Lift the heels up, arms up if you choose. And here are our tiny little poses. Tiny but mighty. Really squeezing the glutes at the top of each lift. Stay high on the balls of the feet. Really keep those heels up like you're wearing your stilettos. Good. Breathe and smile here. Can do it. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good. 
Good, stay up in that shoulder bridge. Join your palms together, join your knees together. And then everything opens about the width of the mat. Squeeze it in, open up. In and open. Again, if you're struggling to balance or you're feeling your form is getting sloppy, just put your arms on the floor for support. Buns and thighs on fire, my goodness. Woo, we're gonna feel this tomorrow. Keep going, don't stop, don't give up. Nice, roll it down and roll onto your side. We're just gonna keep it going. Here we go, tilted clams. Lift up out of the floor, add in your extension, and lower down. your core nice and strong there shouldn't be any extra movement happening no rocking no rolling just this top leg moves nothing else so good all right swing it around quickly here we go second side Everybody. We're almost there. I know you can do it. Stay strong. Think happy thoughts. You got this. Ten seconds. We're gonna flip over into our tabletop next. And here we go. Just working the right leg. Hydrant pulses four times. One, two, three, four. Lower to your left forearm to extend the leg and then reset back to your tabletop. Keep working that right leg. Good, and of course keep that core activated, no arching, belly button pulling in and up. Good, right to the second side, go for it. Left leg, four pulses, and go to the right forearm to extend that left leg. Seconds. Our hovering tabletop is next. Ten seconds. Good. Tuck your toes under. So we're doing opposite hand to thigh and then same knee to elbow. Try to shift as little as humanly possible. Stay right in the center. Good work, everybody. Check out those hands if you need to. Here's your high plank. Now we do our shoulder taps, opposite hand to shoulder. Two of those, and then open up to your wide stance. Same thing there. Two in each position. Keep that booty down, everybody. No cheating. 
Even if you're tired, you gotta fight for it. 10 seconds. Woo! All right, into your forearm plank. Here's your double ham curl. Knees down, bring your heels to your bottom. Tuck the toes, lift, and here's your tiptoe to your pike. Take a moment in your pike, enjoy that. And tiptoe down. Everybody, back to your high plank, finish strong. Here we go, right knee in. Lift up one, lift up two. The third one, you send it up and back, and reset in your high plank. Left leg, up, up, send it back. And high plank. Really push yourself, this is the last one. Give it all you've got. Circle the head around. That's always my favorite thing to do after a workout. Just let it go. And of course, the most important part, don't forget to give yourself a huge hug. I am so proud of all of you. I am dripping in sweat or glistening, we should say. We're glistening. Take care of you and I'll see you all in the next one. Don't forget to check out the description box down below. I hope you will join my on-demand family. It would mean the world to me. And as you heard before, the best time to join is now. You can experience my platform for just $20. Amazing, amazing. I'll see you on the next one. Bye friends. Woo.